Hey guys, what's up? It's PK Mario, and uh, I have mentioned this Sony radio in my previous, in some of my older videos, um, because it's really got a good cassette player on it. Um, however, I have been having a bit of an issue with it. Now, as far as I'm aware, uh, these three cassettes here, um, this is my mixtape, which I recorded on a TDK. It just has a whole bunch of artists on it. Um, then we have uh, the soundtrack for Ghostbusters 2. Got some good songs on it. And then um, Fats Domino. It sounds like a live performance um, because the one track on this album that I do know um, does sound a bit different from what it would normally sound like, um, especially with the audience clapping in the background. Um, so these cassettes all work perfectly fine with this radio. I mean, yeah, sure, there is a bit of an issue with the sound with this, uh, Fats Domino cassette, um, but other than that, these cassettes work perfectly fine. Anyway, um, so, uh, this TDK specifically, um, it play, um, TDK cassettes are really good no matter what one, uh, no matter which one you'll get, um, and they are outstanding, uh, Pharaoh cassettes, and here we have a Maxell cassette, which I've yet to use, but Maxells are also pretty good. Um, however, um, when it comes to the TDK and the Maxell, I only really have one of each of those cassettes. Um, but then come, but then come to these Fuji cassettes. I have four of them. This one, which I've yet to use, uh, which prior to this issue I was planning on using for some video game songs which I believe they would sound really good when recorded onto this chrome cassette. Um, but then the issue lies with these three Fuji cassettes. Um, now, uh, let me show you what I mean um, with the issue that I'm having. The sound, the sound is all warped and everything. Even though I was, even though there wasn't really anything wrong with the source that I was recording it from, and well, this was an issue that I was having with two of my other Max L or two of my other um, Fuji cassettes, both of which are Chrome too, which really sucks. Um, so at first I didn't know what it was, but the sound kept on, um, but the sound would go out every once in a while and then it would come back in. But then I decided to pause the tape right as this issue started happening. And well, lo and behold, look what we have here. Uh, now I'm not sure if you can quite see it there. Um, but, uh as you may or may not be able to see, that is crinkling right there. So, uh, the way, so in case you didn't know, the way that cassettes work is that there's actually four channels on this tape, um, two for each side because cassettes play in stereo, uh, so one, so one channel will play the left channel on a song, uh, another channel will play the right channel on a song, on side one, and then the same applies for side two. But this crinkling here, um, I guess, just sort of distorts the sound because it muffles the chant because it muffles the sound channels or something. I don't know. I'm not like a very. Um, I'm I'm just making hypothesis. I'm just trying to make a hypothesis here. Oh yeah, and then there's even more crinkling right here. Um, 
And it all starts with the cassette player making a bad sound, like you can hear the tape crinkling, and that normally concerns a cassette user because normally when that happens it means that the tape is coming out of the shell and crumpling up inside the cassette player. But then I take it out, only to find out that there is just a whole bunch of crinkles here. And while it's not quite as annoying as the tape being chewed up, it is still pretty... It is still not good, because the sound will become distorted and warped. And, well, sadly enough, all three of these Fuji cassettes are having this issue. Um... As you can see here, uh, the crinkling is a little bit less severe, but still the same issue. And then, once again, except here, it's a lot worse. And the thing that sucks is that this is the high-quality recording that I used with this exact radio. Um, and I'm going to show you what I mean with this one cassette. I'm only going to play the damaged part. So, as you can tell, once again, muffled noise, but I feel as though this was a better example because the recording is of higher quality. And then there's this cassette, which I recorded with the old, uh, with my old JVC radio, the one that actually ate a Maxell cassette tape that I had. So, yeah, the, the, and this is the JVC recorded cassette, so I mean the sound does go out for a second on this one, but the crinkling is actually the least severe with this one, but the same thing has happened to all three of these Fuji cassettes, all of them, uh, I've heard a crinkling noise inside the cassette player, and then I open them up as quickly as possible, only to find out that the tape has just been crinkled up near the bottom, but it's really annoying. It's especially annoying because I was going to make an 80s mixtape using this 60-minute Fuji cassette, but now I guess I'm going to have to find a better brand of cassettes to work with. Um, now I've yet to use this Fuji Chrome cassette, like I said before, and I was going to use it for video game tunes and stuff like that. Um, at some point, I might be getting my dad's old cassette player, um, which can also record. It's a double cassette player, and it's got noise reduction and auto-reverse and all of that. So maybe that'll not damage the tapes like this one did. But it seems to have only happened to these Fuji cassettes, which I find quite odd. It hasn't happened to either one of the pre-recorded cassettes. Um... I haven't used the Maxell one, so I don't know about that yet, and it hasn't happened to the TDK, despite the fact that I've used that one the most. So I mean, uh, if anyone has a similar issue and they think they know why this happens, uh, then please do explain in the comments below, and I guess I'll see you guys later, Bye bye